I've made a lot of cakes over the last five years here on How to Cake It, but these are the most viral cakes. I haven't watched this compilation yet. I don't know what five cakes are there other than Walter. So I'm gonna watch it with you for the first time. Walter. And he's first in the video. Orhan, I'm guessing he told you he had to be first. There I am, picking him off the tree. Everybody was very upset that um, I made it seem like watermelons grow on trees. And guys, I know that they don't. That's why it's funny. This is our first viral video. This video put us on the map. Walter thinks he put us on the map. But I try to explain to him, you're just the model. It's red velvet cake that I altered to be pink velvet cake. And then the chocolate chips represent the seeds in a watermelon. And then I dyed some buttercream to match the cake. This is really hard actually. This takes some time, some nuancing. And then I put even more chocolate chips between the layers because he's seedy. I baked the top layer of this cake in a bowl does the work for you. And the other three layers are in a pan. You just need to shave away the caramelization from all the sides. At this point, I remember doing this and think, saying he looked like a chubby ghost. <laughs> I always think about that when I look at this. The hardest part is to get it to look like a natural green because food coloring is green. So you need to add, you know, like ivory or red, you need to dull it down and bring it back to a more natural tone. And then you just, oh, look at, look at me speckling. You have to just sort of build up his skin with different shades of green, different textures. We did this on Camp Cake and it was fun teaching everybody how to pay. Uh oh, I'm pointing at his nub. You have to add the little, Walter, can I show them your head? Oh, that's, oops, I guess I made his bottom. <laughs> yeah, this is this is where it went wrong. That's why Walter and I have never been the same. Yeah, I pointed out his nub on camera. You can't really go back from that. A watermelon cake was on my bucket list for a really long time. It was just something I had envisioned. And when we started how to cake it, I was like, how about a watermelon? And I also love it because it was different from any video before it. And Chad, he put that, he was the face. Oh yes, Chet did the fruit portraiture. Chet, that's why Chet is no longer here. He's moved on, he has a fruit portrait studio. Okay, this is a cake from year one. This video came out July 28, 2015. This video, whenever I see this cake, the first thing I think of is that parts of it were inferior rating. <laughs> There's nothing worse than getting a hamburger at your table and you can't see the patty. It's, I find it infuriating, actually. That's not a word. It's not? Infuriating. Oh! Yeah. Sometimes making colors that are subtle are actually harder. Not sometimes. Making colors that are subtle is actually harder than making just like bright red. So trying to make bun color <laughs> is sometimes very difficult. Look at the size of my butcher block. <laughs> what? It's like half the size of my butcher block now. I technically have three times the size three times the surface to work on now in front of camera. Mm -hmm. And of course, we need a sesame seed bun. So that means I have to stand and make sesame seeds for hours. We should make a seed compilation. We could put burger, we could put strawberry, um, bagels, remember when I made the bagels? There's gotta be some other seeds. Let's throw Walter in it. Oh, marshmallows are out. Okay, so I'm making the patty, which is made out of chocolate, rice cereal, marshmallows, and then milk and dark chocolate.
Okay, can we, I need to pause because I really am so happy this cake is so good because this interview framing is terrible. I look like I'm in a closet. Let's talk about all the patterns going on. Be careful what you say, that's Jeremy's work, there you go. Ah, he can take it. <laughs> oh, and now look at my chair. This is why people used to ask if I was sitting on a toilet. <laughs> Could you imagine? Why would you think I was sitting on a toilet talking about cakes? Anytime you make something out of gum paste that you can't really let dry, it's tricky because you have to work quickly, otherwise it starts to crack. So you have to be careful, but quick. That's really hard. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, really dismantle this bomb in five seconds. Like you can't, I don't understand. I mean, this is less important, but I'm just, I can't think of anything else. The relish is fun too, because I just mixed together, I cut up, um, licorice and wine gums that were green and then I mixed it with piping gel and dyed it green. I just love the relish. Mustard, you have to have mustard on a burger. I really like spicy mustard, um, but on a burger I'm okay with like just good old-fashioned yellow mustard, you know? I would want this on a burger but instead of relish I'd probably want a ton of pickles. I love pickles. Yeah, and I prefer tomatoes on a burger over ketchup. My husband and I argue about this all the time. I'm right. He thinks you should pick ketchup. Which has the sour? Yeah, but I don't like that. And I, I particularly don't like the look of when ketchup and mustard mix together. I don't have time. And don't get me started on mayonnaise. Do not bring up mayonnaise. If I see mayonnaise in these comments, don't do it. Burger was November 25th, 2015. So that's the same year as Walter. So we had a good year. That was a good year. Oh! Fuck out for you. One second. Mm. I'm a lady. Sushi! <laughs> this cake made me nervous because I was determined to make a jelly roll cake. I wanted it to be rolled up inside and out. But it worked out, I'm very happy. It's just, it's very different from the cakes that I usually make. Oh, and then I put that ginger jam inside. I love ginger, let it be known. Let it be known. I juice ginger, I make ginger tea. I like everything with ginger. I love sushi, I eat a ton of ginger with my sushi. I love ginger. The jelly roll cakes. This is honestly just making me think of nailed it because I had to watch them do this. Remember? Oh, on Netflix. On Netflix, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wait, can we talk about this fondant? So I had this bright idea to get my fondant to look more like nori, which is the seaweed. I put Oreo crumbs. I kneaded Oreo crumbs into the fondant because I wanted it to have a bit of a rough texture and I thought they'll just taste yummy. So win-win, right? Not so much of a win because the Oreo crumbs like sucked all the moisture out of the fondant. And I remember the fondant was super dry. Like if you see the footage of me rolling it out, I look like I'm struggling and I am. I remember racking my brain, going to the bulk food store and trying to think of yummy edible things I could use to look like sushi fillings. And I like what I chose. We as North Americans, we call everything sushi, but that's technically wrong. This is, sh is sushi, when you have the tiny little bed of rice and the raw fish on top. The other things are maki, but we just call everything sushi. We, we're sorry. What I remember most about this cake is, it was a fan request. Do you remember, like we, we, I think on Instagram we were like, what do you guys want to see me cake? Yeah. And the overwhelming response was sushi. Yeah. So I made sushi and this was the first video on the channel that hit a million, was it a million in like a day? It was the fastest yeah. Yeah. rising video yeah, it, at it, that, that time. Yeah. 
sushi. I don't know what this is. It's a pink round. Oh, I know what it is. It's nail polish. <laughs> because I made the cap of the brush black, black chocolate cake and black fondant. This. That's black ganache? Yeah, black ganache. Why did I say black fondant? Black ganache. Yeah. I feel like nail polish was like, also a fan request for a long time. We get a lot of fan requests for nail polish and makeup and things like that. That's really nice and neat. That's hard to do. <laughs> I like this. I like you giving yourself some credit. And then I had to make the like, I think they're called threads. So I really enjoy how I made the threads. I made two, I clay extruded two um, of the same type of cord of fondant. I wrapped them both around the neck at the same time. And then I peeled one away. Yeah, that was really cool. And that way I know that it's spaced properly. I named this nail polish after Walter. I have no idea why he still like acts like I did something wrong. I didn't, I've done everything for that melon. Oh, Christine is coming in. See, her top, her top is hollow. That is hollow. Okay, I'm gonna try and guess when we made this. Um, I'm gonna go with 2016, September. No, it's actually 2017. I'm just kidding, she did it! Oh, oh. <gasps> oh my god, it's like a gradient! Or an ombre! But we use, we use the term gradient in, oh. in nail land. I picked up the whole cake and just let it break. And if anyone can do it, it's Christine. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I, why did I put cake, why am I pasting cake all over my fingers? Who am I? <laughs> Who is, oh my, Christine is just biting into the lip. Did you make this? I like, did, like, I have like, like you 16 baked 16 hours it? of footage. 16 hours? That's long enough to go to Polish Mountain. What's that? Where's that? <laughs> oh, I love this cake. It's the giant juice box. I will tell you this, it took me a day just to build its structure. It was, it was just so much measure, even for me, that was a lot of, using a ruler. There was a lot of measurement. Would you say and, too much of using a ruler? I mean, I could never have too much of using a ruler, but it was very, yeah, building, oh my gosh. Here I come with juice. I think I'm coming back with juice. Yes, I am. Watermelon, again, something else I dedicated to that melon. So he does, he is pretty viral at the end of the day. Everything on I've kept him relevant. Do you understand? He could be an Instagram star. Oh, wow. So I covered this cake in sheets. I normally, I love to do this with boxy cakes. Normally, I roll out my fun and I chill it. I, I must have done that here, but it's a hot time of year. So you can see as I'm pulling up each slab, it kind of wants to fold down because of the weight. There was a lot of seam hiding, a lot. And shout outs to Celine for designing this wacky melon juice box. I love the design. Mm -hmm. The date, I, I can guess the date of this cake. I'm gonna guess August 28th. Because it was back to school? Yes. What year? 2018. I like you, how you say that as if it could be. As <laughs> if so I'd be like. 3,000. Sixteen twenty-four. Um, <laughs> 2018. Yes. August 28th? No, 21st. Okay, that I will take it. That's why I was wearing those glasses. It was back to school. I was being the teacher and Walter was being the naughty student. If you guys want to see more compilation videos like this, I've made so many cakes on this channel and I love going through them with you, then leave a comment below. I know you want to see that seed compilation. Do they? You need to make yourself heard. Big 
big announcement, guys. I will be back this year at the SoFlo Cake and Candy Expo, and I am teaching a live cake workshop. You can learn to make one of my novelty cakes. Last year it was a burger, and this year it's my coconut drink cake, which I'm really proud of. It's one of the cakes in my book, and it's gonna be so much fun. So if you are interested, click the link below to find out the dates, the time, the room, and secure your spot. Secure your spot first. Then find out where I'll be. Yeah, don't go to the room. Yeah. And wait there. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, there's only 25 spots. They could be taken if you didn't secure yours.